welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and a long overdue kitchen makeover video. And I say long overdue because it was started in January and this is now June. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the kitchen was finished at the end of January. However, I was waiting for little bits and pieces of snagging to be done uh, before I put this video up. But poor Jack has a million and one other things to do. So I thought I would just put it up as it is. It was a lovely old couple who lived in this house for decades before we bought it and I don't think the kitchen had been done since they moved in so it was very old fashioned and very tired and worn and definitely, definitely needed done. And in this video I'll show you what it looked like at the beginning, I'll show you some of the changes as they happen and then at the end I'll show you what the kitchen looks like. Now, just to warn you, it's not going to be show home tidy and clean because it's lived in and as you know we like to keep things real on this channel so there's no point in tidying everything to make it look like something it's not. So the kitchen is what it is, just like we are. <laughs> I'll see you at the end of the video. So here is the kitchen before. We've got, stacking from the top, we've got wallpaper on the ceiling and we've got the old-fashioned strip light. Horrible brown cupboards. I'm sure they were nice in their day. Um, old ancient flowery tiles and wood panelling on the wall. We've got an extractor fan there that doesn't actually work. A uh, freestanding cooker and the oven cooks everything at one temperature whether you want it to or not. Um, we've got the wood panelling continuing along here. At the window we've got a blind that doesn't work. Uh, we've got a horrible cream plastic sink that's disgusting, um, old tap, and a few drawers there. So we've got all the cupboards are the same, the old metal handles. Over here we've got flowery wallpaper that was behind. There were units there when we moved in, but we took them out to put the fridge in. Um, the tiles continue here. There's a radiator there that was behind the units when we moved in, so that doesn't work. We have, there was lino on the floor that they lifted, so it's just floorboards that are there just now. And we put the dishwasher in as well. So that is the kitchen before. So this is my kitchen at the moment. <laughs> That's where all the cupboards were. They're now off the wall. Um, the cooker's still there but not plugged in. I've still, all the, the bottom cupboards and things are still there. Jack's cleaned and put one of the cupboard units back up and he's put some of the, that lovely silvery grey plastic stuff around the outside. It's sparkly. It's sparkly and it's actually really nice. It looks like a complete new unit. Mm. The cupboard doors arrived today and the sink and the worktop as well so it's definitely moving in the right direction. Also, the radiator that was there is now gone. Yeah. It's now Wednesday the 8th of January and we've got the first coat of paint on the walls. It's a nice light grey. Well done, here's the colour. It's B&Q's Good Home Range and it's the Melville Matte that's on the walls. And it's actually going very nice with the lining that is put on the outside of the cupboards. And we've got this covered unit up as well. We've not got the line in on that bit because there's another unit to go there. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at today. Sanded the walls all down and put the first coat on. Thursday the 9th of January and we have an oven in. Yay! Look at that. So much better than that horrible ancient freestanding cooks at one temperature cooker that we had. So the electrician's just been and fitted a nice new socket instead of the horrible big white one that was there. Um, we have got a ceramic hob. It's not induction because we had an induction in our new kitchen in our last house and I really didn't like it. Um, and we've got a nice oven there as well. It's all working well. We have got this worktop in. Jack put that in this morning. Um, had mega problems with it. This house is a nightmare. None of the walls are straight, nothing's even when it comes to measuring things and heights and all the rest of it. So it had real problems, not to mention the fact that he was on his own and that is a very heavy worktop. Um, there was a lot of shouting and swearing, shall we say, and unfortunately, 
he did manage to chip it. But it's not the end of the world. We'll get that filled in and nobody will notice. We also have got all the cupboard units up on the wall again. And we've got doors on these ones. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to put handles on them because I like the smooth look. We had that in our cupboards in our last house. Down here, we have got two of the drawers and two of the doors. They are getting the handles, obviously, or we won't be able to open them. Um, we have gone for the mix and match style. Two reasons. One, there wasn't enough of those doors to do the whole kitchen online. Um, we were looking in sales and things, obviously, on a budget. So... We liked them and we thought, well, why not go for the mix and match because I do like that. So it's smooth and shiny on top and got a wee bit of texture and it's um, matte on the bottom and it's a darker grey. And we did think this was white, but it's looking more like grey now that it's in the, the grey kitchen. And I'm really liking it so far. So that is where we're at just now. So tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get that worktop and the new sink done. Yay! Oh, and another casualty of the worktop was the freezer. Our poor freezer doors bashed. But again, it's not the end of the world, is it? Still works. <laughs> Monday the 13th of January and it's coming on very well. We have got all our cupboards up on the top. We now have the cooker and hood and the splash back. We've got the lovely tiles on the back wall. We've got all my appliances back on the worktops. And the handles on the doors are lovely. I've decided I'm not going to put handles on the top at the moment. We have got a blind up. We've got coven all the way around the ceiling. It still needs painted but it's there. We've got the drawers all fixed. So yeah, doing really really well. Jack did amazing yesterday. That's where we're at. Many months later. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the completed kitchen. <laughs> So as we go in, you can see all of the cupboards that were um, put in. Again, we've got the sort of mat at the bottom and the handles. I didn't show you a close-up of them before. So that's what they look like. So they go all the way around the bottom of the kitchen up to the dishwasher. And on the top, we have the shiny cupboards. And I did leave them without handles in the end. The finished grey walls, this is one of the snagging things, we still need to get all the glossing done. Um, but we have replaced all of the switches, so we've got nice silver switches now instead of the old white ones. We've got the nice tile effect on the wall, that's not actually tiles, it's like a, a sticky back plastic if you like, and it comes in... In sheets and you basically just stick it to the wall which made life so much easier it's still the old-fashioned water heater that we've got there we hopefully get another one we have got lights under the worktop just to make it a little bit brighter that's it when it's off and here is one that's switched on and I think that's quite nice it makes life easier for me when I'm cooking and things and they are rechargeable so we're not faffing about with batteries and stuff it basically just comes off Oh, hold on it basically just comes off like that it's a magnet so it goes off and on like that and gets charged so yeah I like these wee lights and there's more of the new switches that we've got we have got our new cooker which has all been boxed in now and is looking great it's all integrated it was a horrible freestanding one that was there so we've got the oven there we've got the ceramic hob, but you can't really see it. The ceramic hob, the splash back. There's me. Hello. And we have an extractor fan that works now. Wait, I'll put it on for you. Yay. So that's what it looks like when it works. Very pretty. The wall cupboards still end there. We've got the tile effect going right along to the end of this wall as well. I've got my, I love this, the sort of chopping board, work board, uh, work top protector type thing. I think it fits in very well with the theme of the kitchen. Um, what else? What else? We've got the lovely sink now. It's a nice black sink that we've got. Oh, that's needing clean. Sorry about that. A black basin and much nicer, more modern tap. We've got the blind that I think I showed you before. 
Um, on the window ledge, I wanted to put a wee splash of colour in, so I added pink to go with my scrub buddy. <laughs> so I've got a pink candle there and a pink candle there. And over here, the worktop continues. We've got drawers at that section. Round here, no more radiator. Woohoo! Um, the paint continues. We now have a TV on the wall because I'm in here all day. Still the same bin. You may notice that it is a new fridge freezer. Um, that was not because we got a new kitchen. We're not the type of people to get a fridge to match our new kitchen. It was purely because the other one stopped working. Um, it broke down on us completely. Whether it was because of that bash that it got, I don't think so because it was months later that it actually broke down. Um, so yeah, that's our new fridge freezer. And at last we have a floor. Yay! So we've got, it's actually, it looks a bit like tiles, but it's laminate that Jack put in and it goes right through into the utility room. And the same bottom cupboards go right through into the utility room as well. We did put a cheaper worktop in the utility room. How many times can I say utility room? Um, because... We don't do much in here, it's just for our recycling and uh, our washing machine and stuff, but it still looks a lot better than it did. I'm trying to think what else. Oh yeah, let's have a look at the ceiling. Now the ceiling is still the wallpaper. Um, he just washed, it. he didn't wash it, he just painted that because he didn't know how difficult it was going to be to get off and in the future we are going to be completely renovating in here, we're going to be knocking this wall down into the other room so it doesn't want to go to too much hassle we have a new light up there which matches the theme much better than the horrible strip light that was there before and we've got a very similar light in the utility room as well except it's a curly one and we've got the same blind in the utility room too so this is what our kitchen looks like now a hell of a lot better than it was at the start. I'm sure you'll agree. Oh, we've got the kickboard right along the bottom as well. I'm trying to think what else. There's still wee snagging bits needing done. Like I said, the glossing's needing done. And I think the coving still needs painting. And this little chip still needs filled in. Um, but other than that, I'm absolutely loving it. As they say at McDonald's, I'm loving it. <laughs> So there you have it, our kitchen makeover and hopefully you'll agree it looks a hell of a lot better than it did at the start. Um, the little snagging bits that are still needing done, I want to point out that they've not been done because poor Jack has had a million and one other things to do. He's completely ripped out and put in new, two new bathrooms in the house since then and he's working every hour God sends. So, he is doing an absolutely amazing job and can I also say that this whole kitchen was done by Jack on his own. He had no help at all. The only help that he had was the electrician putting in the, the wiring for the cooker. Other than that, he did it on his own. And I don't mean with friends, I mean alone. He's an absolute trooper, that, that man. He is amazing and I love him a bit. So thank you very much, Jack, for giving me this, not just this wonderful kitchen, but the wonderful house. He's completely done the whole house. He's just, he's Superman. He really is. So let me know in the comments below what you think of our new kitchen. And hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.